Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melder Production, and today I'm going to show you how you can use mDelay to create some interesting effects using the freeze function. So, some people might not even know that mDelay multiband actually has a freeze function, but it does, and it can be used to repeat a phrase as long as you want. And on top of that, because it's a multiband plugin, there's lots of interesting things you can do with that to create all sorts of interesting textures and things that aren't possible any other way, or at least difficult. So, let's get into it. So, you see, I have mDelay multiband here. I just want to get into just like a one band sound here. And I have something here. Let me bypass this. It's just me singing really fast. Oh. Okay. So we're going to take that and we're going to loop that. So here we could set the delay like this, uh, but let's sync it up to the tempo. So I'll sync it and that looks to be about like, is it two beats or so? So I'll set it to half notes. And we're going to use the freeze. I'm going to set this to classic mode because by default, the feedback or the volume will be controlled by the feedback. But here, the first uh, repeat won't be controlled by that. So I can turn the feedback all the way down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on the metronome here. And I'm going to have this. And then after two beats of this playing, I'm going to hit the freeze button. And then it should repeat it indefinitely, like this. Oh, 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 oh. So you see, it just kept repeating it. And we can do this with smaller intervals intervals too. So like this. Let me see if I can do an eighth note. I may not be able to get it that fast. I'll try. Oh. So you see how that works. Uh, for this, I'm using the metronome just because I can time it better and decide when to push this. Uh, try it one more time. Let's try quarter notes like this. So I'm sure you've heard those effects before. So that by itself, I think, is cool. But let's see if we do something else. Like, let's say here we have tap one and tap two. So I could do the same thing here. And it's kind of interesting. But the hard part is I pushing these at the same time is difficult. But there's something else we can do. See here where it says delay mode, we can do serial. And so for this, I could sync it up like here, let's say eighth notes. Let's do this here and have this at eighth. But now instead of working in parallel, th this uh, sorry, tap one will go into tap two. And I'm not going to freeze that. So let's try this and let's try like a ping pong or something. So move the feedback up a bit, move the gain down. And so this will repeat and freeze, and this will just ping pong that. So hopefully uh, continue until infinity. So let's try it. So you get the idea. So that's something cool we can do. And we could freeze this too. And another thing I should mention here is, let's say if I right click here in the multiband, using this disabled crossover, you're probably wondering, what is this going to do? If I hit this disabled, it's going to create uh, bands that are just run in parallel. So instead of splitting it by frequency or something else, it's not split by anything. It's just like having, you know, like multiple delays in parallel. So let's say I had uh, one more, like here. So now here's our original delay, and here is our second delay. And I could do the same thing here and freeze it and do some other interesting combination. So let's see. Uh, I can keep that. Let's just copy this, and I'll paste it here. So that's easy if you want to do that. And from here, let's say if I wanted to do this like a quarter note or, I don't know, let's say a dotted quarter. Now you're probably thinking, hey, the problem is like hitting these freeze buttons at the same time is hard, but if we use a multi-parameter, we can make it easier. So what we're going to do here is go to multi-parameter one. Let's just name this something like a switch and set it to switch here. I've had set the time for zero milliseconds and I'm going to hit clear and learn. Just 
turn this on and off a few times just to make sure it's entered in there. Okay, turn this off. Now you see it's in there, and this will turn the freeze on and off when I push it like this. See, and it works for both of them. So I'm going to do the same thing, except this time I'm going to hit the switch. And I should be able to get both of them working at the same time. So let's see if I can do that. So there we're kind of getting some like soundscape stuff. It's really interesting, but you can do more of this and I'll show you one that I made. And if you're wondering like, hey, what if you don't want to actually go in there and hit this button every time? That's a little bit annoying. So I'll show you what you can do. Like here's one I have, uh, have it for dotted half notes. Let's just set that to straight half notes. And then I have the other one here for uh, dotted quarter note and then uh, eighth note. So I have that and I had this master switch. I set these up for the different bands, but you don't have to do that. I don't, I don't know. Why did I do that? There's probably some reason, but I forgot. But anyways, this will push the rest of the buttons like that. So you get the idea. Uh, and what we can do is control this by automation. So that way I don't have to do this by hand and use an annoying metronome. So I can go into here and just hit my automation. Let's see. I'm going to set it to right first. Then I'll go into here and I have master switch. So this will depend on your DAW, but uh, this is how you can do it in Reaper. So let's say I wanted to turn on about here, I guess. This is second beat, or this is probably the first beat. So I'll set it here, insert a point, and then I'll just set another point like farther down here, someplace like this. And I want to create one more here and just lift this up. There we go, lift this one up too. I don't know, what did I do? Move this down, sorry. Move this up, and then you just put this under it. So that way when it gets here, it's going to turn on the automation. Actually, I didn't need to set that to write, I need to set this to read. So I go back here. And you can just turn this on also by recording it in, but you get the idea. Uh, I'll let you hear this now. And eh, it should sound like this. And if you move it in various places, so if I move it back here, you'll get more of an ambient feel because it won't pick up this first uh, transient. It'll just pick up the middle like this. So you can see you're creating all sorts of interesting rhythmic effects and also by instead of messing with these points, I can mess with the rhythms in here. So I could do like a, I think I already have a dotted quarter. So let's do this. Let's do like uh, just straight. That's good. Let's set this to maybe mm, triplets maybe. And I can set this to like dotted eighths. And this will give us just different uh, sounds and things, like this. And from there, we can do even more things like, uh, let's say, leave this at straight, leave this at dotted. And like I said before, I can go into tap two, hit serial, and then I can mess around with this. So if I wanted to set this here at, let's say, eighth notes, turn the feedback up, turn this, actually turn the gain down a little bit, set it to ping pong mode, and we'll have it go back and forth like this. Oh, oh, oh. So 
you see there's all sorts of things you can do with that and all sorts of things you can mess around with to create different sounds. And also one last thing I'll try to show here is, let's say if I move it here, I can go in here and when I move this, it will actually change the pitch. So to create some kind of like tape wobbling effects and tape slowdown effects. So that's something else you can play with, and you can go into the utilities here and use a modulator on this if I wanted to, to control, I'm sorry, not the gain, what am I doing? The delay here like that, and it's like, oh, okay, I can put that and use an LFO to move that if I want to, like this. So now it's moving by an LFO. So there's all sorts of interesting and new things you can play with, and so this is cool to put in like the background or something, you might want to filter out the lows and the highs to create just some interesting rhythmic background part from a vocal or guitar part or something where you wouldn't normally think of it as a texture, but you can turn it into that by just using some interesting rhythmic delays and the freeze control. So I hope this gave you some ideas of cool things you can do. If it did, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and until next time, see you.